in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill us with your presence. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Sit down. Before I share with you this morning, I would like to counsel you for a few minutes. You are welcome in Jesus' name. The year is coming to an end. You don't come to an end. The question now, what are your plans for 2024? Every Christians are running up and down after months. Don't allow Christmas to be a distraction to you. We Christians, every day is our Christmas. Who are we celebrating? Christ. Where is that Christ living inside of you? Mama, you're welcome. Shout Amen. What are your plans? He was with me yesterday. I said, what are your plans for your ministry next year? What are your plans? What do you have at hand for twenty for the next level? Or you still want to remain in one position? What do you have at hand for your next level in life? Many of you, nothing in your hand. That is why everybody are distractions to you. Everything distracts you. Because you don't know where you are going. What are your goals? What are your plans for 2024? For your next level. Our next year is our year of God. In this church, we don't wait for crossover before i deliver the message is our year of god what do you have in your heart and what do you have in your hand don't be waiting for happy new year the same to you is a talk what you plant is what you will reap if you did not plant happy, you will never reap happy new year. It doesn't matter how many people tell you happy new year. What are your plans? I have sat down with 2024 calendar and plan for my program for 2024, my plans. I sat down with the calendar from January to December. God will bless you according to your plans. Are you hearing what I say here? God is going to bless you according to your plan. What are your plans? Do you want to remain in one room, in one class, in one level in life, or you want to move to a new dimension of life in life? If you don't have plan, it's still fresh. You still have time. Go and get your diary. And begin to design your future how you want to go next year where you want to go how you want to do it put everything down and start putting them on prayer don't be carried away with celebration this is why the devil always take an advantage on many of you because you don't have plans if you don't have plans automatically you will never have direction am i blessing somebody here what are your plans habakkuk chapter 2 say write your vision make it plain what are your dream what are your vision what do you want to do next year start working on yourself right now 
Am I talking to somebody here? Start working on yourself. Start increasing your capacity. Start working on your wisdom. Start working on your understanding. Start working on your focus. Don't let anybody distract you. Be a distraction to you. You think many of you are going to the same direction. No, you are alone there. Don't let anybody to distract you this season. Stop planning for travel now. Instead of you to plan for next year, you are gathering money to go and waste now. Plan your money. Am I talking to somebody here? Plan your money. Let us send your money message. Plan your money. Have direction. Remove your eyes away from the wrong things. Stop weighing people's progress. Focus on where you are going. Stop weighing people's progress. This is why you are full of jealousy now. Stop weighing people's progress. Focus on where you are going. If you know where you are going. Am I blessing somebody here? Put Luke chapter 18, verse 27. That is the key for our next year team. That is the key. Luke chapter 18, verse 27. What he said? Everybody, let's read. And he says, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. It's our year of God. Next year, God will catapult you to where you supposed to be. You position yourself. Stop living blindly. One of my uncle promised me. One of my auntie promised me. You keep living on promises. Your mind have not tell you. Your uncle has responsibility. Your auntie has responsibility. You put load on people. Stop depending on people. Am I blessing somebody here? Stop depending on people. Train yourself. What are your plans for 2024? Woman of God, what are your plans? Sister, what are your plans for next year? What are your plans? Talk. What are your plans? You want to marry? Yes. Uh -huh. Women are marriage. Woman that don't have plans planning for marriage. Don't marry a girl that don't have plans. She will become a load. Don't marry a man that don't have vision. He will become a problem. What are your plans for 2024? You want to do what? I want to be expand more than you. you. Want to expand yourself where you are now? Do you have the capacity for expansion? I was not to understand. That is the problem we are having. There's a difference between increase and growth. See that. What are your plans, Pastor? Day of me, I will update you next year, February. What are your plans for 2024? Where is Choma? What are your plans for 2024? Face There's something out. I observe that many people don't have plans. They are only living and working on others' plans. If you don't have plans, you come to church, you become a problem to the pastor. That is why many of you become problem in church. Any church you go because you don't have you don't have plans. You want to tear people's plans. Yes. Praise the Lord. Uh, one of the plans I have for next year is to 
establish the fellowship and also increase the businesses God has given me. You see, that is one of his plans. Number one is to expand the fellowship, God's house, and to increase his business. When you have such plans, what is the next step to increase your capacity, your strength, to be able to stand your plans? For your plans not to be bigger than you, increase your capacity. What are your plans? Woman of God, what are your plans next year? What are your plans? I know many of you now say, ah, Is it not Thanksgiving we come? Listen, it's better I teach you. If you don't even have plans, you cannot thank. Yes. I want to establish a new business. A new business, number one. Even in my ministry, I want to have an instrument. You want to have instrument in your ministry? Yes, have sir. you started drawing how those instruments will come? Yes, sir. All right. Our plan is this: I did not, I did not have it because you did not drop everything. Yes, down. but I know that next year we, by His grace. Clap for her. What are your plans next year? My plan, praise the Lord. My plan next year. From, I want like some things that I'm not selling this year. I want to put on the status that is the moving market. You want to move in the what? market. I know that there's some flash drive that is in the market that I move market. I want to start selling it next year. Okay. Yes. Number one. All that is involved. Okay. Yeah. Brother, what is your plan next year? Do you know why marriage is crushed? Because no plans. The wife don't have plan. The husband don't have vision. Two of you will clash. The wife don't have plans. The husband no vision. Two confused people are living together, cooking and eating. Such house is crisis. When you marry a woman that don't have plans, you will suffer as a man. And as a woman, the first question to ask a man, if a man approaches you, is what is your vision? Where are we driving to? You'll be shocked. The man is asking you what is vision. Preparation. The Bible said the preparation of the heart is of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 16. The preparation of the Lord in the man's heart is of the Lord. What are your preparation for next year? All is Christmas you are preparing for. How you will buy jeep? How you will buy clothes? How you will buy everything? January, your body will come down. After the waste, January, your body will tell you. What do you have on your head now? As this year is coming to an end, what do you have on your head? What idea do you have? New idea, new wisdom, new knowledge do you have on your head now? For next year, watch closely now. This month now, every marriage is now. So many marriages are full of argument now. What of children's clothes? My clothes? My, because the woman don't have anything on her head. Your children have clothes before. Why are you pressuring the man? Yes. My plan is next year. I want to start business to settle my. You want to start business? What yes. kind of business? Where do you want to start the business? How much do you want to start with? I want to start like motor car business. Car business. Yeah, for Abuja here. Yes. In Abuja here. Yes, sir. How much do you want to start with? How many okay. cars do you want to start with? Like three. Like three cars. Yes. Yeah, so start from. Which area? Sir. Which area? For this Abuja here. Where in Abuja? God is not the God of confusion. 
sometimes you will be praying your conscience will be asking you why do you need bread he said he want to do car business no plans here no map yet yes i'm listening to you yeah it's, when it's, you go back this night now go and draw the plans of that business so that you're not going to throw your money inside the pit so that you're not going to be jealousy of other people do you understand what i'm saying when you go back today go and plan where where you will do that business how you will do it and how much you will start with to test let me ask another person again pastor vivian what are your plans next year that i have a lot of plans next year i want to, because we want to have company have faith in god if you enter our area you see the sign but have faith in god so i want to make sure that the company stand back all these currently church banks we are the ones that did the contract so i was talking to my husband last week by january february we'll make sure that we restore those companies back and everything will be okay and, and next i want god to restore me to my candle stand next year i want to burn like fire you want to burn like fire yes <laughs> that's my plan sir. love for her <laughs> Ma, what is your plan next year praise god next year i want to expand in my business because I'm doing, I'm doing popcorn. I want to start supplying people, okay. all those supermarkets. Okay. In it, I, I've already started giving to people to sell. All right. I'll give them their own gain. Okay. May God help me, sir. That is your plan. Yes, sir. How many plans? Uh, when I start with that. Okay. Sister Favor, what are your plans next year? my plans next year is that I have a foundation so I want to I want it to go viral my okay. next year I have okay. a foundation already All Ogonica right. foundation what foundation Ogonica foundation Ogonica foundation all right clap for her <laughs> listen if you don't have plans you become a body to people people will start avoiding you because you have nothing to contribute this is why friendship do not last again do you know why only one person is carrying the load the other one is a sucker friendship do not last again relationship do not last marriages are shaking as a result of this what do you have inside of you your head i pray may god enlarges your heart in the mighty name of jesus christ shout that amen like thunder amen. carry your diary down and start writing things down then after you wrote you start planning how to execute them God do not created you, did not create you for nothing. He created all of you for something, and that something must be fulfilled. Don't come to this earth and go by accident. Be a children and go. No. What do you have at hand? What are you doing? Thank you, Jesus Christ. That is the short counseling. Have something at hand. Thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Next.